Those junk dealers having fun. <laughs> I was talking, talking to your movie camera. Going on, internets. We are on our way to my next storage unit. It's Tuesday. November 20th. I bought it for $161. Check it out here. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, it was at $30 this morning and some guy bid me up all the way up to $100, $140. So instead of going to Black Friday shop, I'm going to buy a storage unit. On my way to pick up my grandpa, the actual storage unit is less than five minutes away from his house. So that's the reason why I'm picking him up. He wants to come with me and I took the day off so we can do it during the day. So yeah, let's go there and get this unit, pay for it, and Dig it out. I got my friend coming too. I'll see you there. Yeah. You make your money back, man. Just take it. Yeah. It's an expensive crap beetle. Like, I'm surprised I'm not seeing it before. Well, this looks about like the one we had up on the west side. Look at that. I think it'd be cleaner, though. I think so. I think, it's, I think it's just right here. It's all dirty because it was. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was probably ran this way a lot of times. Yeah. Nope. You want it? Nope. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're getting right into it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Grandpa, you called it. Look. You got, oh, more yeah, in there. you got more of those in there? Oh, that's awesome. I bet there was 200 than we had up there at West Side, wasn't there? There's more. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Little baby fan. That's hilarious. <laughs> it's warped, though, from the, I think the rain. That's a cool. That's a cool picture, though. It's not that bad. It's like you. Hell, y'all know that guy. You know him. <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. Here's another one. Oh my god, dude, these are awesome. Oh, oh that's not Harley. It's not Harley though, is it? It's just his Cooper. Look at that. Grandpa gets the find of the day. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> the find of the day. This is some nice jackets though. Should be able to sell those online really easily. All right, so we just we just did a load. Basically, took that half and threw it in a dumpster in my grandpa's apartment, and then take this. See if I can push it all the front and get all this in there. It's mostly furniture, but uh, I think it should fit. So we'll see. <laughs> You ready to go bye bye? Huh? You ready to go bye bye? It's up there. Get in there, thing. We're going to GameStop. We're going to trade in my old Xbox and a bunch of random gaming stuff from the last storage unit I got. And I should get a new Xbox with Battlefield. So I'm going to trade my Xbox in. The Xbox, the new Xboxes are on sale right now. $230 for a new Xbox One S with a new controller and everything. Let's go do that real quick. And then we'll go back and do the rest of the unit. What do you guys think, huh? They're going to go with me. It's like two minutes down the road. They love the rides. There's a little mutt butt sitting there. Aww, cute. So everyone got uh, the Battlefield. Five Xbox. Look how shiny it is. It's a brand new Xbox. All right. We can finally unload the rest of this. It's a nice day. So let's get this unloaded, go through it, and I'll show you what I got.
as you can see, there is a lot of stuff in this unit as far as furniture. Um, this dresser is missing a drawer and didn't find it, so I don't know what that is. Uh, I think this goes on the back of the dresser, or there was another dresser that went with this set. Not sure. There's a lot of stuff to go through, as you can see. Like, this, this was all empty before I got here and put everything in. So, yeah. We'll start with some basic stuff real quick. We'll go through everything I got, and I'll show you guys. So we're gonna do Thanksgiving, and then come back. I've got, like, halfway through the unit. There's a couple really cool items to show you uh, here coming up, too. I'm gonna Grandma's a big Elvis fan, and I found this in the unit. These are all news clippings of Elvis. You guys want some Thanksgiving? You got your little plates of turkey and uh, noodles. Here you go. Oh my god. Alright, so we're out in the garage right now. It's very dim out here, but this keeps me from great bringing everything inside. Uh, to show you what I have. The first lot is going to be like a Native American stuff that I have. And I have a couple pieces inside, but I'll show you the majority of it in here. The, uh, I don't really know exactly what this is. Uh, it kind of looks like a, an air, a bow and arrow to me, but I don't think it is. I think it's just a hanging piece, but it has some... I don't think those are eagle feathers. Not really sure. But the other one has a big deer hoof on it. And then we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of plaques and pictures. We have a little thing of horses. It's called. It's signed by Paul Whitney Hunter. Then we have these beautiful two sets right here. You can see that these are little arrowhead, wooden arrowhead like clocks with these uh, Native American women on them. Uh, wolf howl at the moon on some wood, uh, like lacquered on there. Native American chief on here uh, on this little round thingy. Lastly, we have this uh, like plank, which is has this like plastic mask of a Native American girl on there, but it doesn't feel real to me. It feels like it's fake stuff. Who knows? All right, and we have this uh, dream catcher right here with the the spear and two eagles and like an arrow, and it's got some like fur stuff around it with beads. It's pretty neat. Not really Native American. But I'm just gonna throw it, in this, throw it in this lot I'm going to with. It's a, like it says Anheuser Busch ink on it. It's a, a drum, one of those drums you kind of hold to the side or in front of you. When I first found it, I don't know if I broke it, but it kind of cracked right there. Honestly, not wood. That's plastic. So I don't know how good this actually is because there's, there's a plastic ring around it. Go on to the next lot here. And next up, we got some Dale Earnhardt collectibles. Here are some uh, lighters, actually. There's like a... This is... Uh, this is not Dale Earnhardt. It's Dale Earnhardt Jr. I just now realized that. But it actually works. Yep, it kind of works. And this is a the Dale Earnhardt, not Jr. lighter right there. Alright, so he also had a bunch of... He's Dale Earnhardt. Uh, there's two Dale Earnhardt. For Dale Earnhardt, the Intimidator, and there's four Earnhardt. There's five. Uh, unhealthy amount of newspaper clippings and magazines that they've kept, and like tabloids from uh, anywhere from Dale Earnhardt to Elvis to Marilyn Monroe. But the rest of this stuff, I really haven't went through. There's there's old broken guitars back there. And the drums are broken. This is just crappy tools uh, and then nothing to write home about. So I'll show you the rest of the stuff inside here. I got some of the really good stuff inside. Okay, here's some uh, more stuff inside. The find of the day. These are actually like matching jackets. One's, I, right, they're almost actually identical how they look. See that? They both have like the cross, we're gonna try to say, uh, buttons. They zip up the same. Like what one is, this one is heavier than this one. This is a Cooper brand. So this one is different. I think they're actually him and hers uh, leather jackets for like bombers almost. Those are probably like $200 or so for $100 a piece I'll sell them for. All right, so here are some of the, 
Here's some of the tabloid crap I pulled out just to show you. And some of the Marilyn Monroe, Marilyn, Mon Marilyn Monroe, sorry, Marilyn, Mon Marilyn Monroe stuff. So it's like a little uh, cardboard thingy. Uh, there's a postcard and it actually has some juicy stuff on there. I'll read it to you. First name, I think it's Maurice. Since I took my Marilyn shirt, I figured you could hang this one up. It's really nice down here. Mike and I are going to get some something really going. I miss you a whole bunch. Love you, Shorty. This is from 1982. This is a 1982 card, and someone signed it Shorty. Shoddy, Shorty. S-H-O-R-T-Y. All right, this is uh, the tabloid I was talking about. This is O.J. Simpson. Here's another one, O.J. didn't do it. Uh, the O.J. murders. Globe, the Kennedy, the Kennedy scandals. These are really neat. These are like 80s or 70s or 80s. Look at the pictures in the back of this. You tell me if this is like a 70s or 80s thing. Iron on designs for t-shirts to make them yourself at home. And they're new, like they're new and that they haven't been used. Look at that one. That one. I don't know if I could sell these online. I probably could. We have a couple, we have a couple more things before we get before we uh, basically get off here. Um, this is a Harley Davidson tobacco pipe and the tip's not used. So this is really neat right here. It's a Harley Davidson tobacco or whatever you want to smoke out of it pipe. I found some video game stuff. There's like cords and stuff out there. Lights of that. There's Crash uh, Bandicoot and then there's Rayman. Odd World. Crash Bandicoot again. And Odd World. Odd World. PlayStation games like this. If they if they're the silver uh, text and they have the back the black uh, backing, uh, they're worth some money like this one if I had the full case this is probably a $30 game just just the case and the game and everything but this is probably $15 or so but also a slew of uh, old cult classic horror shows or horror movies and I just picked the two best ones I found out of there uh, Stepfather 2 uh, Make Room for Daddy they're, they're in these old like rental movie uh, cases this one's like 10 or $15 online, just, just this movie right here. I'm gonna sell the whole lot of, I think there's eight or nine of them. Okay, other than that, the rest of the stuff is just kind of like weird knick-knacky things and old, like off-brand tools and broken drums and broken guitars. Uh, there's a couple cymbals that are smashed and broken. This guy is also, I looked him up on Facebook because <laughs> uh, that's what I always do. And because I, I have, oh, I do have one more thing to show you. One second. All right, so this is really crazy right here. I picked this up. I noticed some papers back there and then the back was just really loose and falling off. So I peeled it back like this. And in the back of this, I don't wanna give away any in, like personal information. So I'll just show you a little bit. Actually, I'm just gonna show you some screenshots of this so I can uh, Photoshop the names out. This is the guy's grandpa's discharge papers from 1946. This is insane. This is an insane find. Um, from 1946, and he was enlisted in the US Navy in 1942 and served overseas in the Navy as a naval electrician during World War II and was discharged honorably in, in 1946. Uh, and there's a picture of him in there, in here, which I can show you the picture. I don't think anybody's gonna recognize him other than if you are his uh, family. There's a uh, letter from Jimmy Carter from when he passed away, thanking him for his service. It was signed by Jimmy Carter, the President of the United States. Who? I'm just really surprised. Who the hell would store this in their storage unit and just let it go? Like, this is your family's history. It just makes me sick, really. It just kind of makes me sick. And I, I'm going to get this stuff back to the original family. I'm actually just going to take it to uh, the storage unit place and have them do it for me. Because I don't have, sometimes I don't have good luck finding them. And I don't want to keep on to this just in case. Really, your grandpa's flag from when he got buried as a World War II veteran? Look at that. Your grandpa's World War II veteran burial flag. And this guy, from what I heard from the storage unit place, I got the little lowdown. Uh, he got the free month, like there's a promotional, the storage unit places do promotional stuff all the time where they give you a free month to store stuff 
And then after that free month, you pay like 30 or 40 bucks a month. It's not that much. Uh, I have a storage unit. I pay $30 a month for it. You get the free month and then never pay to never paid a payment on the unit. And they let it, they let it sit there for two years until they auction it off. And I got it. Why would you store this? I'm going to give back to them. But there are some people out there that wouldn't do that. And they just keep this and sell it online or some weird shit. It's just, it's heartbreaking that someone would store their grandpa, like a war veteran from World War II in his burial flag, that he would not even try to get this back at all. This guy, this guy must be in jail or something. Don't know. Uh, I know when we was going through the unit, we found a ton, ton of drug par paraphernalia, like pipes. Uh, we didn't find any actual drugs, but we found uh, like crack pipes, some weird stuff. Okay, so overall the unit I thought was gonna be okay. Um, and then I, I just keep digging in, digging in. I'm finding better things as I'm digging in, uh, but this is the main majority of the good stuff I found. The rest of the stuff is just like $1 items or just, just random stuff. My grandpa had fun, my friend had fun. The overall estimate of the unit, I would think the two jackets are $200 alone. I'm thinking close to $1,000. Everything sold. That's gonna take months to do. So when you buy storage units, you can't just go, "Hey, sell to you, I'll sell all this stuff to you for a thousand dollars." Nobody's gonna do that. They're gonna pay. You're gonna be listing every single thing on eBay, and people will pay top dollar for certain things. I'm gonna try to get my stuff, all this stuff, listed on eBay before the video comes out, but never happens. Check my link out down below for my eBay page to see all the stuff I just showed you. It's gonna be for sale, and you can buy that and you can support me. Because I don't ask you for money or anything on, e or on YouTube. It just doesn't seem right. Uh, my Facebook page. If you haven't joined my Facebook page, get on there and join it if you have Facebook. I keep updates on everything. Um, pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you this. One more thing before I leave. Everything I found, this is the weirdest thing I ever found. It's a deer hoof walking stick with eagle feathers on it. See how big it is? And Wanda... Wanda down here thinks it's the coolest thing in the world and she wants she is a stick fiend She's a stick fiend and she wants this so bad. I just want to show you. I'm gonna show you real quick the stick She wants this stick so bad But I can't give it to her because it's not really healthy for you to eat Wanda do it's like a little rattle for a little baby Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video